Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Komatsu and our management style. As you can see, uh, Komatsu is a, a very diverse company uh, with manufacturing locations around the world. This gives us a huge, and all these locations are interconnected. And as we mentioned, uh, we came here to Milwaukee in 2017 when we bought uh, PNH. PNH is a local uh, Milwaukee manufacturing company. In fact, this year we're celebrating our 135th anniversary, so uh, a major uh, contribution to manufacturing in Milwaukee. This global um, distribution of manufacturing facilities, all interconnected, gives us the ability to move our manufacturing around the world depending on circumstances. Those circumstances might be market conditions, mining might be up, construction might be down, so we can repurpose our facilities to provide the products that are needed for the market. There can also be political conditions uh, that will require us to move our manufacturing around. Uh, there's also um, political conditions such as um, uh, the tariff situation. Uh, so we have the flexibility here to move uh, our manufacturing around depending on the market conditions which prevail at any one time. Not only do we have manufacturing uh, ability to move our manufacturing around, we can move our people around. I can use myself as an example. I was born in Australia. I lived in Sweden and worked there, Canada, uh, back to Australia. Then I went to Latin America, and now I'm up here in Milwaukee. This kind of movement of people as well is a tremendous advantage. One of the biggest assets that we have in the world are our people. So not only do we have a diversification in, uh, globally in manufacturing facilities, we also have a diversification in product. We, pro we produce construction and mining equipment both for surface and underground. With this diversification, uh, it helps us to take the ups and downs out of the market. Construction might be up, so we concentrate on mining. Mining might be up, uh, down, and we concentrate on construction. This level of diversity, both geographical and with product, gives us a tremendous ability uh, to smooth out the ups and downs and provide a consistent and reliable service to our customers. As I mentioned previously, uh, the biggest asset that we have is our people. And of the 63,000 employees that Komatsu has around the world, we have people from all walks of life. That diversity is our strength. If you take, if you have a problem and you take, uh, make a team of uh, white Anglo-Saxon engineers and give them the problem to solve, they will come up with a solution or a, or a series of alternatives, but it'll be pretty narrow because they all think the same. If you take that same team now and mix it up, you mix it up with gender, you mix it up with race, you mix it up with culture, you mix it up with professional background, you're going to end up with a huge range of alternatives and I guarantee you that the solution they come up with will be better. Now, the challenge is how do you manage, how do you lead diverse teams? You've got to listen. It <laughs> sounds easy but it's not easy at all. You've got to listen to, to these diverse people and act on their recommendations. The old saying is you've got two ears and one mouth, so you should listen and talk in that same proportion. These uh, statistics can be discussed, but it's absolutely uh, demonstrated that diverse teams are better at making decisions, inclusive companies are more innovative, and inclusive cultures lend millennials uh, the opportunity to be more engaged. So my recommendation to you as future leaders is surround yourself with the biggest group of most diverse people that you possibly can and listen to them and you'll be guaranteed to be successful. I'd just like to finish off by talking about our new facility here in um, Milwaukee, we'll be building uh, uh, s 
state-of-the-art facility in South Harbour. Uh, we'll be breaking ground probably spring next year and in uh, spring 2022 we'll be inaugurating this. We're very proud of this. Um, it'll be um, uh, almost zero emission facility. We'll be producing in this facility large machining parts and heavy structures for our cable shovels and drills. So with that, thanks very much.